Good morning, Snap Pickleball players. Um, today we're going to be discussing the strategy behind your dribble over. Okay, remember in yesterday's videos, we taught you the line dance on how to get in and get these dribble overs. And now we're going to be talking about strategically placing those. Okay, you don't want to just randomly put them over. All right, now let's say that the dribble over happened here. If the dribble over happened here, your opponents will be here and your partner will be here, protecting the center. So it dribbles over, you did the dance, you got in there and you want to strategically place it over here. Do you see why? Okay, everybody is paying attention to over here and most people might, I mean, here's another option, taking it back here, but this is, you know, they're right there protecting that alley. So that's an option, depending on which way they're, they're leaning and what they think they're gonna, you're gonna be doing with it, okay? But I like to give myself more time, right? So if I bring the ball, remember it was a dribble over, okay, so it dribbled over, we got in here and got it, and we need to get back out. So in order to give us time to get back out, Placing it over here gives us time to get back out and then we switch and come over here and these guys come over here. The closer that we can get that to the net, the better because remember they're here leaning toward, toward where the ball was. Number one, they're not going to think you're going to get it, which is really fun because as soon as it dribbles over, these people relax a little bit. And then they don't think, oh, they're never going to get that. But now you've got the footwork. You're going to know how to get in and get out. And you're going to place it over here. They're not going to be ready to move over there. Do you see the strategy behind that? Okay. I'm not a person who will go ahead and tell you to do something without giving you the reason why. I don't like that myself. Don't tell me to place it there and, and not tell me the reasons why and show me. So remember how we get in. It's our one, two, three, four, five, right? Go ahead and step in, bring your paddle down on one. You should be anticipating that ball coming over before it gets over here. On two, you bring your other foot in. Now you're so close. On three, you, you place your shot purposefully over here. Bring your paddle up to protect your face. You're going to use your, the weight of your body to push off of that foot to get you back out quickly. Don't just get stuck there. Use your momentum to bring you back out. Okay. Push off after you've done your stroke, push off to come back out. When you come back on four and five, they're moving and you're going to come over here because you placed it beautifully over there. Hopefully this will be the winner. But as you get better, we all know those balls come back. What we had as winners at a 3-0 level, when we get to a 3-5 level, they're not winners anymore. And the same thing with each level. You know, you have your winning shots and holy crap, now I have to hit four or five more of those before I can, the, the rally is ended. So anyway, that's the whiteboard lesson on why and where to strategically, purposefully place your dribble over shot when you get in there. All right, snap to it. Have a great day today, guys. Um, this will be posted on our website sometime today. And if there's any questions or comments or anything that you're having troubles with, go ahead and send me a little email or comment and we'll, we'll address those issues for you, okay? Have a great day. Play the snap way, smart, nimble, and purposeful.